Hey guys, today we are going to be doing a painting of some 3D pyramids. So to start drawing our first pyramid, we're going to draw a dot for the top. And then using a ruler, we'll draw a vertical line that comes straight down, but not all the way down to the bottom of the paper. Leave a little space. Then from that same dot, we're going to use our ruler again and angle not too far out, just a little space out on both sides, but we're going to make this line a little shorter than the middle line. So again, that middle line should be the longest and we're going to angle out from both sides slightly shorter than the middle line. All right, so we should have sort of a tent shape here. Then we're going to use our ruler again to connect those bottom two lines. And again on the other side. And now I have my pyramid shape. Now, if you'd like to add lines to make them look like the pyramids with bricks, uh, what I recommend doing is using your ruler to space them out. And you wanna follow that same diagonal as the bottom of your pyramid. Going back and filling in with some thinner lines. For this side, I'll follow the same diagonal as the bottom edge of the pyramid and connecting at the corners. Now, if I'd like to add another one behind, we're going to make it look like the front one is overlapping. So again, starting with a vertical line and just run it into the pyramid in front. I will then draw a diagonal line on the left and just run it into that front one. On the right hand side, I will draw a diagonal and kind of decide where it ends and then simply connect it back into that overlapping pyramid. I'm going to go ahead and do one more small one in the background here. It's going to be teeny tiny, but we'll follow the same step. So dot, vertical line, two diagonal lines that go out from the sides. Again, keeping those shorter than that middle line. And then again, connecting just the same way we did here on the bottom left and right. All right, now that I have my pyramids, I need to add a horizon line, which is where the sky meets the ground. So I'm going to make a wavy line uh, to represent the sand dunes that we often see in Egypt around these pyramids. And then I'm gonna also create some wavy lines for sand dunes surrounding my pyramids to fill in the space here. I now have a foreground towards the bottom of the page here. I have a middle ground, which are the pyramids a little ways back. And I have a background, which are the small pyramids in the back. And then for a little bit of stylization, I'm gonna add some swirls in here to represent the wind that um, often shapes those dunes. Next, for my background, above that horizon line, I'm going to add a big sunrise or sunset. And again, stylizing it by adding some rays coming out of it. For a final touch, I think I'm going to add some camels. Next, I am going to outline all of my pencil lines with black marker. And for the foreground, the area towards the bottom of the page, I'm using a regular thickness of black Sharpie. Then when I get towards my background, those smaller shapes, I'm switching to a fine point Sharpie because they are thinner lines towards the background.
So this step is trace and erase because I am tracing all of these pencil lines and now I need to erase any pencil lines that are left behind. Now I'm ready to paint. So using watercolor, I'm going to choose one side of my pyramid to paint and shade it darker, and I'm going to leave the other sides of them lighter. For my darker sides, I've chosen to mix some browns and purples, and also put a cast shadow on the ground stretching out behind it. For the lighter side, I'm mixing some of that same brown with yellows and oranges to make it look like it's lighter and the sun is touching those sides. Then I'll fill in the rest of my sunset and landscape mixing and layering colors as I go. I've chosen a color scheme of mostly purple and yellow, which are complementary colors because they are across from each other on the color wheel. Also, because they're complementary colors, when they mix together, they make brown. This brown helps me to get that golden look in my desert. And now I have completed my 3D pyramid painting. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.